Hey guys, it's Russell with DieselChan.com and I've got something really exciting to share with you. For about the last, I don't know, eight years that I've owned my 2001 Dodge 2500 with the Cummins Turbo Diesel, the truck has been plagued with the Cummins Chirp. Um, if you're not familiar with the Cummins Chirp is, when you shut the engine down it makes a horrible squeal. Like a Now. If you go out on the forums, if you do any research on the internet, there's a numerable amount of reasons that people say, well, it's doing this because of this or that or the pulley or the alternators going back, the engine stopping faster than the belt, blah, 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 blah. Whatever the reason, I've never been able to find anybody to say, hey, this is the reason that it's doing this because I have tried everything to try to stop it it's kind of one of those things that people just associate with the second gen body dodges they just do it well it drove me crazy you go off in a parking lot you stop and everybody looks at you and it's, hey it's the cummins chirp i had a suspicion that it was not what everybody was saying it was um there's all kinds of different remedies to spraying wd-40 on the belt to taking sandpaper to the water pump pulley or, you know on and on and on I've tried everything. I've tried, you know, all kinds of different belts. I tried what everybody said would work, the gator back belt. That always works. Well, no, it doesn't. I've tried the Dodge Mopar factory belt. I've tried different Deco belts. But I found a belt that worked. At least it works for my truck. Um, so the first time in about eight years, I don't, when I turn the truck off, it's completely silent. And I didn't even know this belt existed. So the regular belt that made the least noise is the Deco belt. Now this Deco belt uh, is just a regular run-of-the-mill Deco belt. Uh, it's been on my truck about four years and it squeals the same when you shut it down. It never squealed when it was running. When you shut it down it squealed the same when it was new as it did four years ago. Um, so I went ahead and checked the belt. You can, the best way to check these serpentine belts with the ribs is to pull it over like this and pinch it and see if there's any cracks. Mine doesn't really have any cracks. It could have gone at least another year. Um, there's no fraying on the ends. Uh, the belt is in good shape. In fact, I'll keep it for a spare. Um, but I found a Deco green belt that is a heavy duty version of this and I'm like yeah right heavy duty whatever it worked it absolutely worked the first thing I noticed uh, besides the belt it's an ugly green color you know whatever but the belt was quite a bit stiffer and they call this belt a fleet belt I suspect it's probably used on maybe other applications besides the Dodge Ram I don't know but I do know that the belt was a little bit harder to put on because it was much stiffer. Um, same size, same design, except it's green. Now, for whatever reason, it fixed the problem. So, for the first time, I don't have the squeak. And I'm going to show you because people, they don't believe me. Ah, the belt's not going to make a difference. As far as running, when the engine's idling, it, it's as silent as this one was. You know, there was no noise at all, but turning it off, completely cured the problem and I that's probably the fifth brand belt I've tried on that truck and plus everything else I've tried so let me take you over to the engine show you the belt and then start it up and show you that they cured it all right well here is the belt it's called the fleet runner green stripe I don't know why it's called green stripe because the entire belt is green but nevertheless that's what it's called um, all I can say is that the belt works. It doesn't appear to be any thicker. I don't, I don't know, I don't know if the fibers are different, how they made it. It is a little stiffer. But, thank goodness, it's one of the few parts that are left that's made in the USA. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and crank this engine up and then shut it down and let you see that it is completely silent.
that makes me happy. So, um, if you guys are having the same problem um, with your second gen Dodge with the Cummins, with that squeak and it annoys you, um, I highly suggest you get this belt. I actually got this off of Amazon, but anywhere that sells Deco belts should be able to get it or at least order it from you. Um, please don't use any of the belt dressing or WD-40 or anything like that. People will say, well, just squirt the belt. Well, the front and the back of the belt um, do work. Some of these are reverse rotation like the water pump. Um, so I'm just telling you what worked for me. I hope that uh, if you have this problem, you will give this a try and hopefully it'll work for you. If it did or didn't work after you've tried it, leave a uh, comment in the box below or tell me what worked for you. So I will see you guys in the next video.